Today I'm going to show you exactly how much cash flow options can make by selling put and cover call options as well as using poor man's covered calls. I will show every trade we did last month in October and talk through three of my favorite option trades that we did using those three strategies. This will help you so you can use these same option trading techniques to consistently generate monthly cash flow in your account. Here you see every option trade we did last month in October. The red boxes are the trades we're going to talk about in this video. I will talk to you the poor man's cover call in Disney that we've been in for over a year and a half that continues to put really nice cash flow into our pocket and pay us an awesome return. I will also talk you through the covered call trade and position in the hospital company, medical properties that paid us an over 26% annualized return, and finally a naked put option position in Walmart that yielded an unbelievable return. At the bottom of the sheet in the blue box, you see that as a result of buying and selling options, we put a net of $14,106 cash into our pocket. In the orange box, you see that trading commission cost us $120.62. At the bottom left in the purple box, you see that market data cost us $32.75. At the bottom right in the green box, you see that we collected just over $792 in dividends from the four covered call positions that we are in, including medical properties that we'll talk about in this video. In total, as a result of buying and selling options, as well as collecting some dividends, we'll put a net of $14,744.83 into our pocket. If you annualize that return on the approximately $1 million in capital that we have at risk, it equates to right at a 17.4% annualized non-leveraged return on capital. If you're curious about what the return on the $239,899 margin requirement was, it equates to a 72.4% annualized return on margin. One thing I want to point out here on our return on margin is one reason why our return on margin is lower than normal is because last month we also started selling some naked call options against the S&P 500 index. That added a margin requirement of over $74,000. If you back out that margin requirement, since it's pretty much a duplicate margin, because our account is primarily long the market, and by selling naked S&P 500 call options, that portion of our portfolio is short the market. So if you back out that duplicate portion of the margin requirement, then our return on margin is 101% annualized. The first trade I want to talk about the put options that we sold in Walmart, ticker symbol WMT. Walmart is just one of the approximately 200 stocks that we are tracking on a daily and weekly basis looking for opportunities to enter position in them. Here you see that on October 17th, the weekend before we did this trade, Walmart was on our Patreon watch list. It was rated a 7 out of 10, which means it was looking pretty good to enter a short put option trade in it if it behaved properly during the coming week. A couple other reasons why I felt comfortable selling put options at Walmart are because as you can see here on the left chart, the daily chart, after a big decline that started in August when Walmart was around 152 per share, it appeared to have bottomed out around 135. As you can see at the white line, it then made a new higher low at around 137.5, showing that it was trying to reverse its downward trend. Notice down the volume section in the white box, this was all done on really nice buying pressure as can be seen by all the green volume bars. Over on the weekly chart, notice up top where the yellow line is, the Walmart was still in a nice uptrend. It had just finished making a higher low, was trying to break out above the green 50 moving average. I knew that if it did this successfully, odds were that it was going to try and push for a new higher high. Notice down the volume section in the yellow rectangle that the previous several months had been mainly dominated by very strong buying pressure. The only exception was the previous month when it retraced down to 135. All these factors put together made me feel comfortable selling the at the money 140 put option. For that, as you can see here, we were paid $3.05 per share. Well, how did it turn out? I've now fast forwarded the chart to the day that we exit this position on October 25th. As you can see on the left chart, the daily chart, at the base of the white arrow, that's the day that we sold the put options in Walmart. Walmart did exactly as we thought it would and hoped that it would do, and just did it a whole lot faster than we anticipated. Over the next six days, Walmart advanced nicely on really strong buying pressure. However, with such a drastic move happening so quickly, notice over on the weekly chart that it was approaching that previous high of right around 152 per share. At that point, we had made over 79% of the potential profit in less than a week. Because of that, I decided to go ahead and close this position out for a really nice profit. As you can see here, we immediately put that capital back to work in a new position in Kroger Grocery as well as National Realty. Because Walmart moves so fast, we're actually able to double dip by selling the exact same expiration day, November 19, put options in those two companies. We have since closed out that Kroger position for a really nice return, and National Realty is almost to the point that we're going to close it out as well. 
In all, this Walmart position netted us a profit of $2.42 per share. If you analyze the return based on the 10 days that we're in this position, it equates to a 63% non-leverage return on capital. If you're curious about what the return on the $3,142 margin requirement was for this Walmart trade, it equates to a 562% annualized return on margin. The next trend position I want to share with you is a poor man's cover call in Disney. If you've been following my channel for a while and watching these monthly cash flow videos, you know this is the position that we entered in March of last year. As you can see here, we've made a lot of trades in Disney since that time. As a result, this position has put a net cash into our pocket of over $1,295. Here you see our current position in Disney. Starting up top, we are short the November 19th 170 put option that expires in two weeks. The next line is a January 2022 150 call option that we sold when we initially entered this position about 20 months ago. Below that, you see the near-term November 19th 170 call option that also expires in about two weeks that we are short. And on the very bottom line, you see the foundation of our poor man's covered call, which is the January of 2023 110 call option that we own. If you calculate the current market value of all these positions that we are currently in, it calculates to $2,763. And remember that we have already put into our pocket $1,295. Thus, this position has more than paid for itself. But we're going to keep this party going. I actually plan to go ahead and lock in some more profits because you can see here, I have an order sitting out there right now to sell our Leaps January 2023 110 call option and roll the strike price up by $15 while also rolling the expiration date out by a year to 2024. For that, we're trying to pocket over $10 per share. Right now, it's not looking like we're going to be able to pocket that much, but we should be able to pocket a nice chunk of change and also lock in some additional profits. Now, remember that with this position, I'm in a poor man's covered call, but I've also been selling an additional naked put as well as an additional naked call option. That naked call option actually went deep in the money when Disney took off last year. Since that time, we've been using the cash from the naked put option to roll the naked call option up and out in time. I want to eventually let that naked call option expire worthless. And right now we're getting really close to that happening. Disney is trading just over 175 per share and is supposed to announce earnings next week. So we'll see how this plays out. Here's the trade we did last month in an effort to get this naked call option to expire out of the money and worthless. Starting up top, we bought to close the in the money October 15th 165 call option that cost us $14.15 per share. We also bought to close the same expiration day October 15th 170 put option which cost us 35 cents per share. Simultaneously, we rolled the call option up from 165 to 170 and were paid $12.15 per share for that option. At the same time, we also sold to open a new put option that expired on that same expiration day, November 19th, at the 170 strike price and received $3.05 per share. So we were able to put into our pocket a net of 70 cents per share, as well as more importantly, we were able to roll our short naked call option strike price up by $5. I like sharing these Disney trades with you because they really show the versatility that trading options can give you. It also shows why I love trading poor man's covered costs so much. They can produce awesome cash flow and returns as you saw here. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, then I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you so much for doing that. The next trade I want to share with you is a covered call position in a hospital company that's paying us an unbelievable return. Here are the details on the trade we did and why it was so profitable for us last month. I love owning pieces of companies that will always be in demand. Hospitals are one such business. As you can see here, as a result of selling put options and medical properties, ticker symbol MPW, back in June, we were assigned 1,400 shares of the company. So we bought it at $21 per share. Since that time, we've been collecting really nice cash flow by selling covered calls against it, as well as collecting dividends. Last month, we collected our second set of dividends since we were assigned the stock. Here you see that those dividends amounted to $392. But in addition to that, we also rolled the covered call option that was expiring in October. Here you see the trade we did. On October 15th, we bought to close the call options that were expiring that day for $0.79 cents per share. Simultaneously, we sold the third Friday of November $20 call option and received $1.04 per share. So for rolling these call options, we put a net of $0.25 cents per share into our pocket. That alone paid us $350. Then on top of that, we also received $0.28 cents per share in dividends. So altogether, we were paid $0.53 cents per share. The annualized return, based on the maximum number of days we would be in this position, which is 35 days, divided by our initial purchase price, which is $20 per share, it equates to a 26.3% annualized non-leveraged return on capital. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I'll keep doing covered calls based on those kind of returns. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades similar to the three I spoke about in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more of the tips and tricks we use to consistently put cash flow into our pocket every month by selling options, 
Check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Trade Options Like a Pro. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.